Okay, there is a fallacy that's pervading through society, and that's the belief of the quantum leap. Now, basically, the quantum leap in terms of success is that events happen miraculously, almost instantaneously, through some huge surge of willpower or some divine intervention, right? Now, when you look at society, it's not hard to see why people believe in this quantum leap way of thinking. You go to the cinemas and you watch a movie like Hitch, where you have some awkward fat guy get his dream girl within the span of two hours. Or another example, you, you watch Rocky, you have the low life within the span of two hours, become the boxing champion, the most celebrated man in his city. Or you go on the internet, you see instant access, instant news, instant that, instant everything. Your brain starts connecting the dots. Your brain starts seeing the world through this lens of the quantum leap. So now that you've seen the world through this quantum leap lens, you head to the gym. You sign up. It's New Year. You want to transform your body. You work hard for two weeks, three weeks, but you're not looking like Dwayne Johnson though. Now you quit because the image you're seeing in the mirror is not congruent with what you're seeing in your head. What happened to the big event? You should be looking like Dwayne, but you're not. Or maybe you're a striving entrepreneur. You've read Think and Grow Rich. You've read The 4-Hour Workweek. Matter of fact, you've read 10 books. You've gone to Tony Robbins seminars. You're doing everything they say you should do. But you're still not a millionaire within the first three months. Matter of fact, you're losing money. It's because of the quantum leap. You had the quantum leap ideology in your head. You see, nothing happens through quantum leaps. Things happen through consistent, gradual, small actions that are leveraged over time that might appear like a quantum leap down the line to those who are unaware of the universal laws of success. Nothing happens out of nowhere. Things can reach a critical point and your results can explode. But that doesn't mean that it happened out of nowhere. Things were building up. It's kind of like if you have a scale and you have a heavy thing on one side and you, you're tipping sand on the left side. Gradually, things will start moving. You reach a tipping point and motion will start happening. But during the initial process, it looks like you're doing nothing. But you are doing something. You see, there's a few things that are against us. The human mind has a bad, bad concept of time. The human mind does not understand time. We understand clock time. We understand logical time. We understand you have deadlines. But you don't understand time. Essence of time. You understand how your small actions today, leveraged over time, will change your life. You don't understand what you, how what you do today is going to affect you one year down the line. We don't have that knowledge. We're not omniscient. We don't know what's going to happen 10 years down the line. So that's why when we're tasked with Doing something that seems small and mundane in the meantime that we know we should do, a lot of the times we take the path of least resistance. It's just the nature of the mind. We take the easy way out. Because let's face it, these things are easy. Reading a book for 10 minutes is easy. Meditating every day for 15 minutes is easy. Saying no to KFC once in a while is easy. You know, All these things are easy. The things we know we should do. But they're also easy to not do. And when you have a mind that's programmed to take the path of least resistance and a mind that doesn't understand the concept of time and how time leverages things, you're going to take the path of least resistance. You're going to not do it. You're going to believe in the quantum leap ideology. Look at it this way. Here's another example of how small gradual things add up. Have you ever seen the Grand Canyon? Now, a lot of people have a hard time believing that that rock those huge monuments in the earth were created by water. The same water you see going down your driveway when you're cleaning your car created the Grand Canyon. Just small, persistent water flows leveraged over millions of years cracks rocks. That's the power of time. That's the power of the small mundane things. So the next time you approach success, Understand that every little thing you do now is going to affect you down the line. Understand that it's easier to do these things that are good for you, but it's easier to not do them. But 
know what's at stake and do them anyway. So, are you going to believe in the Quantum Leap ideology? I'm going to show you how to be part of the notification gang. It's real simple. Click subscribe and then you click on this little bell here. Boom, bam, boom. That's it. And you get notifications as soon as the videos are up. Peace. Do it! Just do it!